Hello, so today we'll talk about Xubuntu 23.04. Xubuntu comes with two versions. You have to pick one. There's the big one, which is around 3.3 gigabytes, and there is the minimal one, which is 1.7 gigabytes. If you know me, if you know me, you will say, of course, I picked the minimal. And I was surprised why it was like this. And you will see why also in a few minutes. Here I already installed the system, so there is no need to install it. It's very straightforward to install any Ubuntu system. It's just clicking buttons and just writing the username or the home directory and with the password. And that's it. You don't need much uh, experience for that. As you look here, we have a very wonderful wallpaper. Only one panel and we have a desktop. So this has a desktop with trash and home. Here I have a whisker menu and when I looked at it a few days ago, I was surprised to see many things that are not available here. One of them, the minimal, is there is no web browser, there is no mail reader, there is no text editor. Imagine a text editor is not available. Mouse pad, leaf pad, gedit, nothing. There is no text editor. So if you want to use a text editor you have to use nano there is no pdf viewer also there is no software center if you want to install something a gui uh, to install all of these are not available luckily we have one thing here which is the synaptic package manager and this is the the thing that makes everything work fine although we don't have all these applications if we don't want to use the terminal so what i will do is i will do the following i right click on it add to favorites so it will be here add to desktop and add to panel here i i need to move this one i right click and move i can move it to here so this is very important. This is the only means if you want to install any application, anything in Xubuntu. So let us start first. I press here. I'll put the password when I installed. And we get all the packages that are available here. If you are new to Synaptic, it's straightforward. What you have to do first is you pick, you click mark all upgrades. This is essential first thing you have to do so you click it fortunately I already updated everything if you did not update anything you press it and this apply will uh, will uh, will arise and you click apply and you will install all the upgrades so here what we will do is we want to search the applications that we will install so let us check first Firefox And we here have Firefox and of course it is a snap package. You directly mark for installation. Finished. The other one for the text editor we will use mousepad search. This is mousepad mark for installation. So mark it also the, there is dependencies. Another one is Edge top maybe. Let us search for edge top. So we have edge top here. Mark for installation. Another thing we need is if you want is Evans. Evans is a PDF viewer. Search. This is Evans here. Mark for installation and mark. That are enough for now just to install. After that, we said after we mark everything or we marked all the upgrades, we press the apply. So here to be installed is uh, events, events common, Firefox, and there is edge top. And these are the dependencies and there is mouse pad. So let us click apply. It is downloading now. I will keep it to, to, to download and we'll come back when it's finished. 
it has installed so firefox and mousepad and htop and events has been installed there needs to be also vlc because i th i think there is no also there is no sound uh, video or uh, music uh, it's not available and also if you want there is library office you can install also you can search it from here library office or vlc if you want so let us finish from that and now what we have we have here in the old applications for example firefox i can drag it up here so this will create a new launcher okay i say create also if you want here the firefox you can pin it to panel i already did it to desktop and also to favorites so it will be here in the favorites and let's say i want the edge top here for example add it to favorites also you can add it to favorites what else we still have the mouse pad so mouse pad also add to favorites these are the things that are needed of course the mouse pad we can also drag it and put it put it here so create launcher it will create the launcher and that's it so after this tedious job of installing but it's not that hard we did not use the terminal although in the terminal it will be easier but i said we need to offer all the things directly without any uh, exchange from the terminal or the use of the terminal so here let us see the htop how much we are using for now it is telling me 549 which is excellent it is around 549 and we did not call boot so i think it will be around 500 which is also the same as lxqt lubuntu 2304 so it is fine there is no problem and we will look now on the customization the main thing that Xubuntu have over Lubuntu is the customization there is the theming there are many things that we need to install so let us start with the theming okay to speak about theming here we have we have changed the theme already but we will come back and we'll explain how we did this how we change the theme from the other one to this one so first off you go to the firefox i already have the two files that you need to do in order to install so there is win 11 icon theme this is the theme the icons that you see here they are beautiful icons they are win 11 icons so you come here win 11 icon theme the file you go for win 11 black you download it it will be downloaded in the downloads folder for example you click here and it will be downloaded the other one is for the theme this is for the icon and the other one is for the theme i've chosen xfce simple dark here if you notice here xfce xf wm4 themes there are like 1084 themes you can pick whichever you like if you want and here i i took a dark theme xfce simple dark you come to the files here and you download and that's it so you have these two files so what you will do is you will go here to the home to the downloads these are the two files win 11 black and xfce simple dark you need to extract them unfortunately also the tuner that is uh, uh, that has accompanied here with Zubuntu doesn't have an archiver so you have to go to synaptics again and install the plugin how you I will show you you can go directly to the synaptic you search for again you search for tuner And this one, this one, you click it and you apply. I already installed it. You need this archive because they don't have also an archive for the tuner. So that's it. You right click, you open with Arc X Archiver. 
you extract it you pick the location in the downloads for example and open and it will be available here there, there are two files here and for the other one it is uh, the same the same so what you will do now is these are for the icons and this one is for the theme for the icon you have to put it in the folder dot icons and for the theme you have to put it in the folder dot themes what you have to do is you have to go to the home folder my home folder is x ubuntu here i created dot icons and dot themes how to create them directly you create folder dot icons and dot themes afterwards you click it you insert win 11 black these for the icons and these for the themes so that's the whole thing and everything is finished now now it's very easy you come here you search for appearance for the style for the style it will be here the theme will be here xfce simple dark widgets and for the icons we have win 11 black and win 11 black dark so we have two items that we can choose from also if you want there are also other alternatives you can click they have also new mix they have gray bird add white the dark you can choose whichever you want there is also there are more themes than there are applications in order to solve your problem <laughs> so that's it and for the icons look how many icons we have we have the elementary icons xfce darker if you don't like this theme you can go for elementary xfc darker look i think it is it is the same the same one that's the one that they are using you can use humanity if you want humanity darker for example let us go for dark you can also customize the panel and add some things in the panel for example here in the panel you can add new items the same as you saw in lubuntu there is a separator action button let's say you have also a workspace switcher for example you can add and you can move them let me move them i think you can move them here if you want and afterwards you can the make settings for the workspace here sometimes it is called workspace one workspace two you can edit them whatever you wish to call them and of course here you have the properties you put buttons for example it's better for you it's better looking if you want so you can change between workspaces another thing also you can go in the panel and make another preferences you can add another panel for from here you can add another panel i'll put it here but look what you will do if you add this panel you have to increase it all and then you decrease it in order to center sometimes some people don't know how to center the them the this panel this is how you center it and of course you can add also uh, corners but you have to uh, work in with the gtk.css but you can do that also and here you can add any item that you want let's say you want to add a clock you want to add a separator show desktop close close so we have this clock here we have show desktop if let's say you open here you click it it will show desktop you can put it here or you can put it on the top and if you don't like it you can go directly panel preferences panel 2 and you remove it okay and there are other things that we can talk about for example here on the settings there are many things for the display the desktop the keyboard the keyboard is very important here you have the shortcuts if you let's say you want to uh, work uh, tuner, tuner directly the file manager it is super e super e is the default file manager super w is the default web browser it's firefox you uh, directly you can learn them alt f4 is the same in windows if you want to uh, 
close an application let's say uh, this one i want to close it i will go alt f4 it will close and many others keyboards are very important for you for more uh, productivity of course there's notification the power manager and that's basically it the software and update is not about the software it's just about the repos if you want to update the repos etc so that's basically it it's the similar to lubuntu but there's a lot of effort to do you have to install the applications that's why the minimal has a lot of problems if you are new you need to install firefox you need to install all the applications that you want and if you don't want to use the terminal it will be uh, a little bit difficult but uh, using the synaptic package manager as you saw it, it is easy you have to wait a little bit because this one is sometimes it is it, it takes some time to install something so you have to be patient in the installation in the terminal it is better but here we we spoke that we we try not to use the terminal in case of the ram usage the ram usage of xubuntu x uh, xubuntu and lubuntu are relatively the same although lubuntu is a full featured one so you don't need anything to to do your your uh, productivity unlike Zubuntu you have to install everything and as you noticed also Thunar you have to install the archive manager in Lubuntu they they have the LXQT archiver so it is also a plus for Lubuntu but if you know a little bit about uh, the applications you can install your own applications without uh, being stuck with the default ones as I said we installed events we installed Firefox, some might uh, install Chromium. It depends on your taste. So these are the two distributions that are very similar to each other, Lubuntu and Xubuntu. Which one you prefer, Lubuntu or Xubuntu? Please put your comments down below and uh, share with the others. Thank you and we will be back with another video.